All right, now this article is actually going to be kind of serious. Now, if you guys haven't heard of the uh, the uh, MERS, the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, is a disease that, of course, is originated in the Middle East, hence the name, and its first case has turned up in the states, the U.S. and Indiana, uh, on May second, twenty fourteen, the, the day I'm actually recording the audio for this video. Now, as I said, it's a deadly virus, and it's there's two opinions I've I've heard from this. One. Not a big deal. This disease has a hard time spreading. It's still it's still a worry, but not as big as you know, like oh my god, it's gonna kill us. You know, it's gonna be a big thing. Um, it's not. It's deadly, of course. It's not something to take lightly, but it's not like uh, you know that you know it, the country originated from. It's I don't think it has that many cases. I'll read into the article a little bit, and you'll see in a second. And we'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, uh, but there's, there's the other side that's saying it's something huge. It could spread and kill tons of people. Who knows? Um, really, if you want to check out, now I'm going to put two links in the description uh, description to uh, the MERS virus that shows up in the U.S. And I'm also going to show give you a link to the CDC but if you want to learn a little bit more about MERS. Now, this is a uh, quote from this. Let's read it. A deadly virus from the Middle East that causes a severe acute respiratory illness has turned up in Indiana in the first known case in the United States. The man fell ill after arriving in the U.S. about a week ago from Saudi Arabia, where he's a health care worker. The virus known as MERS, short for Middle, Eastern, or Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, first surfaced two years ago. Since then, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed cases in 401, 401 people in 12, county, or 12 countries and 93 of them who have died. Saria uh, Radio has been, hit, um, has been hit hardest with 322 cases and 68 deaths. So from that section, I would probably have to agree with the people who are saying it's not going to be that big. In fact, um, let, me read, let me... Basically, it's only been 401 cases, and I believe it's, I think it's say that it's been out for only about two years. That isn't that big, you know, 401 cases, and only of those 401 people have, uh, only, uh, 400 of those people, only 93 have died. So, the majority of people will survive this disease. And the other thing it must permit, we also have to mention that, you know, you might say 93 is a lot, but yeah, again, the disease originated in the Middle East, where there's really, I, I, I may be wrong, but we in America, and you know, or England, or whatever, do have better healthcare. We usually do have better immune systems and everything. I think you know the uh, really there'd be a, uh, more survival rates. I don't think ninety three would be if it originated in, in the U.S. There wouldn't be as many deaths. Just that's my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but you know that's just yeah you know, again it's my opinion. Um, I'm just saying since we have better immune systems, usually people we have better healthcare and all that. You know if you get sick, you have the option if you have the money or insurance to go to the doctor and you know, get yourself checked out and all that, and, you know, antibiotics and all this. They don't have that usually, and I might be wrong yet again. Depends where also originated, and I don't think this, um, covers where it originated in the Middle East. I don't know, I'm just saying. But this is kind of an important article because it's a disease and it could actually affect you or somebody you may care about. So, I don't know. I don't think we should take this lightly, but I also don't think we should freak out about it. Of course, there's so many other diseases in this country that you can get that actually are probably more deadly than this. But, you know, if you guys want to read the article yourself, link in the description below. You actually can you actually learn a little more about it. Uh, it's a big article. It's not big. It's just decent. It's not like huge, but it's not small. But yeah, if you want to read it yourself, just link in the description. You all want, if you want to learn a little bit more about the uh, MERS. Link in the description to CDC. Thank you guys for watching. Check out other videos. And if you wish, if you want, subscribe, like, whatever. That sounds very rude. I'll see you guys when I see you.